hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is like a super duper requested video you guys have wanted to see what is in my makeup kit for the longest of time and I was like you know what yeah I'm just gonna show it to you guys like you guys want to know what's in my kit and I was kind of like skeptical about doing this because I don't want people to like go out and just buy everything I say I like or I have because with makeup artistry I feel like it takes time okay disclaimer let me just tell you guys what I think before I show you guys the video when you're looking to be a makeup artist or if you want to build your kit first of all you can't get everything in a go so it takes time to actually you know build a makeup kit secondly I feel like it's trial and error like when I started doing makeup um, there were things that I saw on YouTube and I went to buy and I didn't really like there were things I saw on Instagram and I thought I would like and you know there, there are some products that I saw that people recommended and I got and I absolutely fell in love with and I still use in my makeup kit till date and then there are other products that I got and I felt like it was a waste of money that's why I'm always very skeptical when watching videos online because one person might like something but when you try it you might not like it it might not work for you that way so it's very important to practice you know as a person and see what works for you for example I love 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 using cream foundation in my kit I'm not a big fan of liquid foundation but some makeup artists are all liquid based so like who's to say one person is doing something wrong so that's what I'm just, I just wanted to let you guys know that aspect that I don't want you guys to rush out and get everything that I say I like or everything that I think is good I want you to pick bits and pieces and you know use them to your own advantage so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to show you guys a short clip of what my Zuka looks like and all the kit and all the pouches that's in my Zuka and you know the bag I carry alongside my Zuka so after doing that then I'm going to get into the video and show you guys each pouch and you know briefly talk about what I have in each makeup pouch so guys here is my Zuka alongside the red bag that I carry with it and um, I have 12 pouches in total and my Zuka holds nine pouches whilst this bag holds the remaining three pouches alongside my camera, my brush belt, my light reflector, my baby wipes and everything else that I use. And then I'm just showing you guys an outline of the pouches on my dining table. So I have my foundation, my concealer, my powder pouches, eyeshadow, lipstick, you name it. So while recording this video, I figured I couldn't fit everything into one or else it'd be too long. So I'm going to do the first half today. I'm going to show you some of my essential stuff and then I'm going to upload the remaining half on Wednesday. So I have 12 pouches all together. I have 11 like normal sized pouches and then one like small mini pouch that looks like this. And these are what all the pouches look like. I'm just showing you guys. This pouch here is the first one I'm going to show you guys and it's my favorite pouch in my Zuka. So it has my brow stuff, my brow pencil, it has my mascara, it has a lot of stuff. So this pouch is like my, I don't know what to call it, but it's like my brow liner, it's like my go-to pouch, kind of, like I can't do makeup without this pouch. I could do makeup without some other pouches, but this pouch is an essential. So in this pouch, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waste, and these I use in every, I mean, you guys probably know at this stage, this is literally the only thing I use in my brows and my client brows. I it's my go-to brow pencil. I also have some of the my um, the Mac eyebrow pencils, but my favorite is the ABH one. And of course, I have my brow palette, which is you know my holy. It's like the brow bible, my holy grail. And then I have a few of their dip of their dip dip brow pomade. I have dark brown, chocolate, ebony, like the colors that I would use most in the powder form. And I like I have like a love hate relationship with this hence why you guys don't really see it in my uh, model makeovers i love them but i also prefer to use them on clients that have like tattooed brows i'm not i don't know i just i don't re i don't really like like liquidy or jelly stuff on the brows i prefer to use powder and pencil so that's why you guys never really see me use this in my videos but i do have them and i tend to reach for them when i'm working on clients that have like tattooed brows i have my mac painter leaves in paint pot and soft ochre i use these all the time like these are like my go-to like I stopped using my NYX jumbo pencil because I just love the consistency of this like it's not as it's just perfect it's not too creamy not too dry it just gets the job done so I use soft ochre and this is painterly and soft ochre is just slightly warmer than painterly I have 
Vaseline because you know sometimes your clients have dry lips and I just use this to moisturize their lips before I start their face if needs be. Um, I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion from, for the eyelid. It's actually been a while since I've used this because I tend to just like use the face primer all over the you know all over the brows all over the face now but this is great for keeping your shadow in place all day long so this is a, a must-have I have my Inglot number 77 gel liner like if you're gonna go out and buy anything I talk about in this video get you one of these this is like the darkest liner ever darkest gel liner I've ever ever used and then I have my Alcatara eyeshadow primer which you guys have seen in a few videos and I know people always ask me why do you use eyeshadow primer on the lips I don't like using this eyeshadow primer as an eyeshadow primer mainly because I'm gonna show you guys why like it's so creamy the day I used this on a client's eyelid it actually made the shadow transfer because it was just it was too soft and creamy and you don't want your eyeshadow primer to be too creamy because then when you apply the shadow on it like it's not it, I just don't like the consistency of it on the eyelid I prefer to use it on the lips and because the color is like really light so this is what I always use when I'm creating like an ombre lip or if I want the center of the lip to be slightly lighter I have my Inglot Dura Line and this is amazing when you're this is amazing for mixing pigments for you know turning any dry product and just awaken it so whenever my gel liner dries out i love using this to just you know i just put a drop or two of dura line and it just revives my gel liner whenever i want to mix pigments i just put a drop or two you know just to kind of give it that you know pigmenty effect i have my two favorite mascaras which is my maybelline great lash and i use this to blend the natural lash with the false eyelashes and I absolutely love using this because it doesn't give you spider lashes or make things clumsy so I love it for that and of course I have my L'Oreal Miss Manga and I think I have the Mega Volume one but I've tried the different ones and I love using this one for the lower for the bottom lash line because then it just gives you that like you know fuller effect so these are like the two mascaras you probably find me using ever I have this um, pencils from MUA I have a blue one, a, a, a light blue one, a nude one, black one. Basically, these are just pencils for you know when you want to put water on your color on your if you want to put color on your waterline. So if I want like a pop of blue or a pop of green or a pop of teal, I just pop this there. If I want a nude color on the waterline, although I tend to use my Max Paint Pot and Paintly, and then of course a black um, eye pencil that I never really use because I tend to use my gel liner on the waterline. I have my glue, my duo glue. I have asked, I've had people ask me a lot of times what glue do I use for my makeup, I mean for my lashes and do, does it keep the lashes on all day? Yes it does. This is the only glue I use in my makeup kit and I've never had a client with a problem with their, I've never had a client complain about their lashes falling off. I use it on myself all the time and I can testify to it. It's amazing. And of course my sharpener, this sharpener is from Urban Decay. Um, I have my NYX Jumbo Pencil that I never really use, but this is a great eyelid primer as well. If you have the Max Paint Pot, you don't need this. If you have this, you don't necessarily have to get the MAC Paint Pots. What else? I have like a little tweezer to apply lashes with. I have a lash curler. Um, I have a Claire Mascara. Um, Claire brow and lash mascara that's kind of like brown now because I've used it a few times this was the pencil I used to use all the time on the waterline it's the Urban Decay Per version liner pencil and it's really 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 black but then when I started using the Inglot gel liner I was like mm, I'll just stick to the gel liner it's handy to just have it there on the waterline as well as using it to line the eyes so if you're looking if you're not one to put if you're scared or skeptical about putting gel liner on your waterline and you want a really 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 black pencil definitely look into getting the the Urban Decay Pro version one and last but not least I have this pencil here and this is actually not a good demonstration of the pencil I love this pencil now this is the only other pencil that I would use from time to time alongside my ABH brow pencil reason being I find this pencil it's from I actually can't remember the, the brand I got it in Nigeria but I will leave the details about this pencil down below if there's anyone in Nigeria that wants to get it it's an amazing pencil mainly because Unlike other pencils, it's not 
so soft like it's kind of strong and waxy so it does the job on the brow and I find a lot of times as well that I tend to use this pencil when I'm working on clients that have tattooed brows so the second pouch I'm going to show you guys is my foundation pouch and I'm gonna start with the skin so this pouch has all my foundations and I'm just going to show you guys I have MAC foundations AJ crimson and black opal and these are the three these are the three key foundations that I have in my kit and my MAC foundations are in this bottles here because I was like I'm not about carrying you know humongous glass bottles around so what I did was I departed all my MAC foundations into this travel bottles that I got from Boots and I love this one because you can just open it and you know squeeze the foundation out and it's much lighter to carry as well so I have all my MAC foundations here and these are the Studio Fix Fluid foundations and they're my favorite foundations to use from MAC and then I got this a while ago but I actually haven't really dabbed into using this um, into using this foundation yet and that's their Pro Longwear nourishing waterproof foundation and this is meant to be amazing to use in the summer months so I got NW45, NC50 and NC45 I, I can't remember why I just got these three random shades probably because they're the ones I use the most then of course I have my AJ Crimson you guys already know I decided to invest in the artist kit and I got the light and the dark one there's two artist kits it just saves me carrying the little pots around and this is what the dark one looks like and it just has six shades and I mean, you guys already know how I feel about AJ Crimson Foundation, so I'm not even going to, you know, start telling you how much I love it. And I have the light one as well, and it has six foundations. So this is just super handy to carry instead of carrying like 12 little, 12 little foundations around. And then I have my black opal foundations and people always ask me when I use this so the black opal foundations come in a tube like if you guys don't know what it looks like I'll try and insert a picture but they come in a tube but like the tubes are around and they're so annoying because they go all over your pouch basically I was like I'm all about the potting and making my life easier and making my zuka lighter so what I did was I melted them in the microwave and I got this palette I got a friend of mine that was coming from the States to get me this palette because you can't find it in Ireland but I got them to get me this MAC foundation palette and what I did was I melted them and I poured my black opal foundations all 12 shades in here and I have it numbered so I know what shades you know what shades are and that's pretty much it and these are the foundations that you will find in my makeup kit these are my go-to foundations and I absolutely love them and that's it for my foundation patch up next is my concealer patch and this is what it looks like and in here, like, this is probably one of my favorite pouches as well because, you know, concealers are just life and I have quite a lot actually. This pouch is the heaviest, I think, um, alongside my shadow pouches. So I have my Ben Night Cream shadows. You guys see this all the time, so I'm not even going to go into details. I have dark brown, extra dark, and midnight brown. These are my contour shadows. I have my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palettes in, I think I have it in dark and medium deep. Here they are I have a whole bunch I think I have all the shades of the Illigore Pro concealers the color corrector I have all the shades because these are the concealers that I use the most to highlight I have my Mac studio finish concealers these are the only concealers that I use around the brows they're super easy to blend I'm not a big fan of using liquid concealers around the brow because I just find it's too messy and too hard to blend so I have my Mac studio fix studio finish concealers which you guys have seen me use several times around the brows I also have a few Mac pro longwear concealers actually and these are just I could almost say the Ellie girl pro concealers are a dupe for this the only thing the only thing I find is that this is slightly easier to blend and longer wearing than the Elegirl Pro Concealers. So sometimes when I'm working on a bride, I tend to reach for my Pro Longwear Concealer. Although, the only thing with it is that it dries super fast. So you, like when you apply this, you need to blend ASAP. Whereas with the Elegirl Pro Concealer, you can still kind of relax and you know, chill around with this. If you don't blend it, it's gonna stay there. So, and that's a good thing about it because when it is blended, it stays there. I have this uh, Makeup Forever Professional um, Camouflage Palette and I think I got the number four and it just has a color corrector. I think I've used color corrector quite a few times and some darker shades and some oh, soft medium shades. I also have my MAC Luster Drops. 
and I have bronze, I know, I don't know what shades these are, no, pink rebel and sun rush. So I have my luster drops and this are good for, you know, just glowing up the skin. I've never actually used this in a video, so I'll try and do like a glowy tutorial on a model. Like if you want to glow, if you want to glow, like if you mix this with your foundation, it just makes your foundation dewy and glowy and just gives you that extra glow and bronze to your skin. Last but not least, I actually invested in this and I really need to start using them because these are like 47 euro jar. These are the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer and these are meant to be great for highlighting, for brows and they're creams. So I'm wondering why I haven't, I think I've used it once or twice and because the consistency was so thick I was like mm, I'm not sure like this is going to take me longer to blend under the eye but like I spent a lot of money. I think I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five of this and I spent 200 and something on five jars of concealers i mean but there is a lot inside so i have the kevin o'quan sensual skin and answers i will try to use this on the next model i work on and let you guys have, know how i feel about it i have this abh cream contour kit and this is in deep but I find the lighter, I find when I'm working on lighter um, clients, I like to use the darker shades in this palette actually for contouring. So when I'm working on a really light skin client, I prefer sometimes to use this lighter shade than my Ben Nye cream shadow because they're not as pigmented as the cream shadow. So I tend to use, to reach for one of these three shades to contour my lighter clients. Oh yeah, I have this NARS Radiant Cream and Concealers and custard and ginger i invested like i want to get a few more of these for my kit but there's like such a little amount inside for 28 euros as well i'm like mm. but i got custard and ginger and these are from my caucasian clients or my same mixed race clients so i got this too and i'd like to invest in the darker ones in my kit as well so next i have my pouch that has all my setting powders and my contour stuff so my highlight and contour pouch with the powders so the first thing is my ABH contour um, powder palette and I created this palette myself. I looked up shades that would be ideal for women, women of color. I use this like all the time. Do I even need to tell you guys about it? So that's the first one. And the second one is for my lighter clients and I haven't really used this as much but I have their banana powder, their L'Orange. I have a few random shades in here. I don't really reach for this one as much but I created two contour palettes and this are the two of them. So I have them in here and these are the products that I would use 99.9% .9 of the time to contour with. Then I have my sleek face contour kit in medium and dark and before I got the ABH contour powders this is what I used to use because you know sleek was the ish so I have there actually have the face form in the medium shade and then I have the traditional contour kit in the dark shade and I still use this on myself a lot actually then I have my covergirl queen bronzer in ebony bronze and this is amazing on women of color you can really get away with it even if you're light dark I'm gonna say dark to deep skin tone amazing bronzer so I have this here so my setting powders I'm gonna start with my Ben Nye banana powder one of my favorites Sasha buttercup setting powder must-haves like I'm starting with the must-haves dye and alongside is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder so this is great for lighter skin clients or even Irish clients if that's the case so this is amazing and it's just a translucent setting powder obviously much more lighter than the banana powder or the Sasha Buttercup powder and these are three must-haves and then of course for my deeper skin clients I have my Ben Nye Topaz powder I use this alone and sometimes I would mix it with the banana to get like uh, an in-between shade if, if needs be um, and then I have my black opal finishing powders oh my gosh I actually have to use this more often this powders are the bomb.com like they just give you a glow like a glow I'm going to make sure I use one of these powders on my next on my next model so I have dark and deep and these is their deluxe finishing powders and these powders are actually amazing and then last but not least I have this white translucent colorless powder from Kep Cosmetics and I think I got this because of Renny Vasquez like he was raving about it and I was like if Renny likes it I like it and I've used it a few times and I really 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 like it like it is actually although it's white it's actually colorless so you could use this even if you're white black orange pink because it's colorless and it just this thing sets your highlighter like flawless up next is my powder pouch 
and this powder pouch is you know of course for setting the rest of the face and the, the only powders you find in here are MAC powders MAC mineralized skin finish powders alongside MAC studio fix powder and I think I have like one random ingot powder but this is what the pouch looks like and this pouch basically holds all my face powders and my favorite face powders as you guys know is the MAC mineralized skin finish this is a dark deep I think I have pretty light ones as well this is a medium deep. I'm actually running out of this. Where are the really, really light ones? Medium tan, dark, medium plus. Much, much more lighter one. You, I'd use this on Irish skin, really. So I have all the shades of their mineralized skin finish as far as I'm concerned. And then I have a few of their Studio Fix powder. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with this. One, because I love it because it's amazing. It's an amazing, great co coverage foundation. I mean, powder. I actually heard that this powder is actually a mixture of foundation and powder. I don't know how true that is. But it is very full coverage. And if you have a client that has problem skin or acne-prone skin or any of that, it's great for covering up, you know, spots and the likes of that so it is very full coverage i hate it because it oxidizes like so let's say you're nw45 if you want to get it you need to get nw43 or nw42 or something you need to get a shade lighter because once you set it it gets darker i don't know why but that's what happens